In this video, uh, we're going to again explore the different ways of dealing with absolute value inequalities that lead to either conjunctions or disjunctions. So here's an example. The absolute value of 3x minus 5 is less than or equal to 7. Now, as in the last video, what we can do is write this as a three-sided inequality. Put negative 7 on the left. We'll put 3x minus 5 in the middle. And we'll put positive 7 on the right. Now, in this situation, we have to resolve this expression 3x minus 5. In other words, we have to simplify it until we get x by itself. The way we're going to do that is the way we solve any other equation. Even though this is an inequality, this part of it, we're going to, to use the same tools that we did when we solved equations. And what we're going to start with is we're going to add 5 like we do with equations. However, in this situation, we're going to add 5 to all three sides of the inequality. So we'll add 5 over here on the left, and we'll also add 5 over here on the right. And when we simplify each of these parts, uh, you can see we end up with, on the far left, we have negative 2. In the middle, we have 3x. And on the far right, we have 12. Okay, now our next step is that we have to, oops, excuse me, our next step is we have to get rid of the 3. So we're going to do that by dividing all three parts by 3. So we do it on the far left, we do it in the middle, and we do it on the far right. On the far left, our end result is negative 2 thirds. In the middle, our result is x. And on the far right, our result is 4. So just to reiterate, we wanted to say that on the left, on the far left, we had negative 2 thirds. In the middle, we had x. And on the far right, we have 4. And so now, just as we did before, we are going to draw our number line. On the left, our critical number was negative 2 thirds. On the right, our critical number was 4. In this situation, we have a less than or equal to symbol, which means, as before, we're going to draw two circles. But this time, our two circles are going to be filled in. we fill them in. And the fact that this was a, a less than or equal to symbol means that we have a conjunction, which I will abbreviate as C-O-N-J. That's a conjunction, which means then that we end up with uh, our solution is going to be everything between negative two-thirds and four on our number line. So it's everything between negative two-thirds and four including negative two-thirds and four. So this was a conjunction, and we uh, solved it by using the three-sided inequality method, and we were able to get our critical numbers, graph them on our number line, and indicate they were a conjunction by shading everything that was in between those two critical numbers. Now suppose that instead of that previous situation, we have something very similar the same numbers, an absolute value inequality, the same exact expression. The only thing that has been changed is that instead of a less than or equal to symbol, we have a greater than or equal to symbol. And what this means is now that we are dealing with a disjunction. And we'll label that as an abbreviation DISJ. We know that this is a disjunction. 
Now we're going to deal with this disjunction in the same way that we dealt with the conjunction. We're going to make the three-sided inequality. So on the far left we have negative 7. In the middle we have 3x minus 5. And on the far right we have positive 7. Uh, we're going to add 5 to everything just like we did before. So we add it in the middle. We add it on the far left. We add it on the far right. On the far left we end up with negative 2. In the middle we end up with 3x. And on the far right, we end up with 12. And then we do the same thing we did before, which is we divide everything by 3. So we do it in the middle. We do it on the far left. And we do it on the far right. So our end result on the far left is negative 2 thirds. In the middle we end up with x, and on the far right we end up with 4. Now these are the same exact results that we ended up with when we did the conjunction. The same two critical numbers, negative 2 thirds on the left and positive 4 on the right. And so now at this point, just like we did before, we're going to draw the number line. So drawing our number line, We have our two critical numbers. On the far left, we had negative two-thirds. On the far right, we had four. Just like we did before, we're going to draw two closed circles. We're drawing the closed circles because it's a an inequality with an equal sign attached to it. Only this time we're doing the disjunction. So on this occasion we are going to draw an arrow to the right and we are going to draw an arrow to the left. So in this situation, then, since we have a disjunction, uh, we're going to write our solutions. The first solution is that x will be greater than or equal to 4. Write that again. Greater than or equal to 4 or x will be less than or equal to negative two-thirds. So the point to get out of this is that when you're dealing with absolute value inequalities, whether they are less than or equal to's or less than's or greater than or equal to's or greater than's, in other words, whether they are conjunctions or disjunctions, we deal with them the same way. We set up a three-sided inequality. Uh, we go through the procedure of solving for x by doing the same steps to all three sides of the inequality. Once we get x uh, and the critical numbers, we draw the number line and we plot the conjunction or the disjunction, and then we can write our final inequality as we did in this case. So again, here's another e very easy way, uh, not the usual way that they teach you in class, but this will uh, actually speed up your process and make things far simpler for you. I am all about making your life easier.